Now our final uh, and third opportunity of the day to hear from our innovators under the age of 35. And this track will be opened by Enrique Lomnitz, or Lomnitz, the director of Isla Habana. <laughs> Except it's not me. Okay. <laughs> sure. He's my brother. <laughs> ah, thanks. Okay, everybody. Um, so five years ago, um, several of my colleagues and I left Stanford to do something which, uh, at the time, we thought would be a fairly simple idea, um, which is to build a single pre-pregnancy test for all Mendelian conditions. Now, the thing about Mendelian conditions, as you may remember from high school biology, is that they are you know, conceptually simple, but they have serious consequences. And the thing about them is, if you can do a test before pregnancy, uh, and you've got a couple that's at risk that has um, you know, carrier alleles, uh, recessive alleles for two Mendelian, um, or for Mendelian condition, 25% uh, of their children uh, are potentially gonna have this uh, condition. And if you test them beforehand, you can do something, for example, called in vitro fertilization plus pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Uh, you can actually implant an embryo that will not have the condition. So there's a preventive step that you can take uh, and if you can do this test. And so our thought, you know, in theory, our, our idea was just use new sequencing and genotyping technology. There's this incredible decrease in prices due to the super exponential decline, you know, faster than Moore's law. And, you know, there's tests for sickle cell and cystic fibrosis and Tay-Sachs, but there's actually also a long tail of Mendelian disease, many individual diseases which are collectively quite frequent. And so the idea is, this is you know, what we're gonna do, and being Stanford guys, we went and started a company um, named Council uh, to this, and that was the theory. Um, in theory, though, theory and practice are the same, in practice, not so much. Uh, and uh, so, you know, the computational biology and molecular biology, that was the easy part. You know, I wish we had just had to do integrals of Gaussians. Um, but uh, to actually validate the test, uh, to, you know, get through regulatory, uh, to get insurance uh, coverage, to do clinical integration, um, to, you know, set up a support infrastructure and a genetic counseling infrastructure to counsel our patients that tested positive, to build a supply chain for all of these delicate reagents, and finally to build out the robotics infrastructure was actually much more than we had bargained for at the beginning. Um, we ended up basically, you know, building a robotic sequencing factory. Um, one of probably the first of its kind, you know, runs 24 Sevens fully automated, um, just runs all the samples through because you know to to do something single-handedly with a pipette is one thing, but to scale it up to you know tens of thousands of patients, hundreds of thousands of patients a year um, is quite something else entirely. Uh, so, as of today. Um, we are now one of the largest clinical genome centers in the world. Uh, we're doing 13% of all U.S. births, up from 0% three years ago. Uh, we have identified more than 1,000 couples that were at risk for Mendelian diseases, uh, and we've saved the healthcare system more than $100 million for both parents and children. So that's me. I'm Balaji Srinivasan. I'm the co-founder of Council. Thank you. Mm -hmm.